If India is on the verge of acquiring fifth-generation fighter aircraft, can Pakistan be far behind? With the decks cleared for the Indian Air Force to co-produce 127 Pak F-A stealth fighters with Russia for $25 billion, Islamabad has also declared its intention to catch up. In December 2015, Pakistan Air Force Chief Sohail Mann had said that Pakistan was negotiating with Lockheed Martin of the US, exploring options to buy the F-35 stealth fighter. A week later, however, the Air Force Chief denied he was talking to Lockheed, exposing Pakistan's limitations in acquiring advanced military technologies from the West. Since Pakistan has had a hard time getting even outdated F-16s cleared by the US, the chances of the Pakistan Air Force being allowed to come within a 50 feet radius of the F-35 is smaller than small. Also, considering how closely Pakistan and China work together in the military sphere, the risk of American technology being passed on to the Chinese is very real. But even as the common Pakistani has been prepared to eat grass, the military will stop at nothing to buy or license produce fifth-generation fighters. If America doesn't sell the F-35, then Pakistan will get the poor man's stealth jet from China. China has two stealth projects going on currently. The larger aircraft, the J-20 based on the American F-22, is for the People's Liberation Army Air Force while the smaller J-31, based on stolen blueprints for the F-35, seems to be the export model. As Pakistan is China's test market, the Pakistan Air Force could well be the J-31 first foreign customer. To be sure, the nearly bankrupt Pakistani economy won't be able to afford these expensive jets. But China, which has been a reliable supplier of low-cost weaponry to Pakistan, could provide the J-31 at cost price. Alternatively, Islamabad could get grants from the US or Saudi Arabia. One way or the other, the Pakistan Air Force will get the J-31. In November 2014, a senior Pakistani official told media that Pakistan was in talks with China to buy 30 to 40 export version of the J-31. Between Pakistan possible fifth generation fighter options, the J-31 would likely be the most accessible and realistic. That said, the Aviation Industry Corporation of China was actively searching for an international partner to assist it in developing the J-31. In other words, the Pakistan Air Force reported interest in this fighter is from the perspective of an off-the-shelf acquisition, not joint development and or licensed production. Although there have been some concerns about the J-31 performance benchmarks, the Pakistan Air Force may, depending on its needs, find what it is looking for in the J-31. Even as the Pakistan Air Force is seeking the J-31, Air Chief Marshal Iman notes the urgency of looking beyond the Chinese jet and conceptualizing Pakistan's own new generation fighter. To be sure, Pakistani aerospace is rudimentary. The only jet of some capability it manufactures is the JF-17 Thunder, a joint venture with China, based on the blueprints of a cancelled Russian fighter and imported jet engines from Russia. This is, at best, 1980s technology, but at least it fills the gaps in the Pakistan Air Force fleet.